Hello friends, I am Manjal from Lens Passions Photography. I am here again for the Photoshop Beginners. In this series, we have already discussed how to create the new documents in Photoshop, how to create layers, how to resize the image, what is a masking, how to save files in different file formats. Today, I will discuss about most important tool of Photoshop and these are the selection tools. A selection is an area of a photo that you define when you create a selection the area is editable for example you can lighten one part of a photo without affecting the rest. Adobe Photoshop Elements provides selection tools for the different kinds of selection. For example the elliptical marquee tools select circular and elliptical areas. The magic wand tools can select an area of a similar colors with one click. More complex selection can be made with the one of the lasso tools. Adobe Photoshop also offer rectangular marquee polygonal lasso, magnetic lasso, quick selection and subject selection. The most efficient way to make a selection in Adobe Photoshop is to use quick mask mode. Before going further, kindly support me by clicking on subscribe button and click on the bell. Let us start with the rectangular marquee. First I am creating a new blank document with a white background. Now I change background white to yellow by using shift plus F5 keys and select fill option to color. You can also use Alt plus Backspace in Windows and or Option plus Backspace in Mac if the foreground color is selected before. You can see we have yellow rectangular box. The rectangular marquee and elliptical marquee tools are residing in the toolbox under one and the same icon. This tool selects rectangular and square areas. To select a rectangular area, I am first activating the rectangular marquee tool by clicking on the icon, the rectangular marquee tool. Bringing the mouse cursor to the point of the image where the corner of the imaginary rectangle should be and press the left mouse button. Keeping the left button pressed, move the cursor diagonally to the opposite corner and release the button. Now you can remove the part of a selection or copy the selection. In this example, I am going to cut the selection by going to edit menu and go to cut. Then go to again to edit menu and select paste. Now you have a new layer of the selected part. Now I am moving this part to that area where from we removed or cut. To differentiate the selection, I am changing the color of a new selection yellow to blue by using bucket tool. You can also activate bucket paint with the G shortcut. Elliptical marquee. This tool selects ellipses and circles. To select an elliptical area, I am selecting the elliptical marquee tool from the toolbox by clicking on the icon the elliptical marquee tool. Bring the mouse cursor to the point of an image where the corner of imaginary rectangle with, with an inscribed ellipse should be and press the left button. Keeping the left button pressed, move the cursor diagonally to the opposite corner and release the button. To select the circular area of the image, make selection keeping the shift key pressed. The selection is made and this selection is without pixel. To add pixels and deficient the selection, I am a painting this selection to red color with bucket paint by activating G key. I am a creating a new layer of a new circular object by going edit menu by, by selecting cut and then paste. Moving into center, now we have selected two objects, first with the rectangular and then epileptical marquee tools. Lasso tool allows creating freehand selections. To make a freehand selection, I am selecting the lasso tool from the toolbox by left selecting on icon lasso tool. Bringing the mouse cursor to the object that must be selected and outline it keeping the left button pressed. I am selecting rough selection and fill with the green color and move to right corner. You can use this tool there where the subject selection requirement is a free hand. Polygonal lasso. This tool makes free hand selection but its counter is made up of straight segments. To make a selection, I am selecting the polygonal lasso tool from the toolbox by clicking on the icon the polygonal lasso tool. Bringing the cursor to any point near the object to be outlined and pressed to the left mouse button, it will be the first point of the counter. Moving the cursor to the next point of the counter, not far from the first one and left click it again. The program will automatically draw a straight line between the two points. Keep putting points in this way until the whole object is outlined and close to the counter. You can see that I have created a triangle object, fill it with the orange color. Move below the circle object. Magnetic lasso. This tool makes a free hand selection also. When you use magnetic lasso, you don't need to follow the counter of the object precisely. If the object stands out against the background, the border of the selected area will be traced automatically 
as you move the cursor along the object. To select an area using magnetic lasso, I am selecting the magnetic lasso tool from the toolbox by clicking on the icon the magnetic lasso tool, bringing the mouse cursor to the border of the object that should be selected. Press the left button and start dragging the cursor along the object. Close the counter that is a join the first fasting point with the last one by bringing the cursor to the first point or by making a double click. Now I have a perfect selection of a round object. Going to edit menu then select cut and then paste and the new layer was created with another round object. Fill it with the dark red color and move to the left. Magic wand tool. This tool select a consistently colored area. You can set tolerance in the option palette of the magic wand tool. The lower the tolerance value, the less color select. You can see this example with 32 value, it able to select one color. The higher the value, the more colors will fall into the selected area. With 100 value selected two colors, with the 255 it selects four to five colors. The tolerance value ranges from 0 to 255 at tolerance equal to 0. The selected area will be represented only by one color and tolerance equal to 255. To select with the magic wand tool, you should selecting the magic wand tool into the toolbox by clicking the icon the magic wand tool. Bringing the cursor to the pixels of the image that must be included into the selection and left click it. As a result, an outline appears around the pixels. It includes the colors of the image similar to the colors of the selected pixels according to the specified tolerance value. So now another circle was selected with the magic wand saving it to new layer by going to edit menu then select cut and paste. Place to right and fill with the maroon color. The quick selection tool makes a selection based on color and texture similarity. When you click or click drag the area you want to select, the mark you make does not need to be precise because the quick selection tool automatically and intuitively creates a border. Now I am selecting the quick selection plus tool. In the tool option bar, choose new, add or subtract selection. Subtract selection option is only available after you make a selection. I picked add selection and paint the triangle and triangle was selected perfectly. Save the selection in new layer by using cut and paste option and place selection on the top and use transform tools by using ctrl plus t in windows and command plus t in mac. Flip the object and placed along the triangle object that was already on the image. You can select multiple objects with the quick selection by holding shift key and paint over the objects. You can refine the selection by subtract brush or add brush by using alt key in windows and option key in mac. After selection, I again save the selected objects to the new layer by going edit menu. Moving the object by using transform tool and filling the colors to differentiate the objects. Now I am removing the lasso selected object and taking the snapshot by using ctrl plus shift plus alter plus e in windows and command plus shift plus option plus e in mac. Now I am using automatic subject selection tools. Now you can automatically select the main subject in your photo with just one click. Photoshop Element uses Adobe Sensei AI technology to identify a variety of a subjects including people, pets, animals, vehicles and toys. To assess the select subject option in the quick and expert workspace, open a photo to select subject. Allow Photoshop Elements a few seconds to automatically select the most prominent subject or subjects in your photo. The selection is visible with the moving dotted lines. In this image, Adobe selected automatically all circles. You can use your selection by using cut or copy option according to your requirements. Now I am creating a group by using Ctrl plus G in Windows and Command plus G in Mac and adding all layers into this group. Hide the group by clicking on the eye. Now we have a group of layers and a two separate layers, you can start new rotating in new layers. Use the selection brush tool. The selection brush tool makes a selection in two ways. You can paint over the areas you want to select in the selection mode or you can paint over areas you don't want to select using a semi-opaque overlay in the mask mode. I am selecting first with the quick selection tool and fine tune your selection with the selection brush tool. You can add the selection using the selection brush tool in selection mode or subtract from it in the mask. Select the selection brush tool from the toolbox, you may need to click the quick selection tool in the toolbox and select the selection brush from the list of the hidden tools that appears. By default, the tool is set to add to selection. Choose a brush from the brush preset pop-up panel. Specify the brush size. You can also use the brackets keys to adjust the size of brush. Choose selection to add the selection 
or mask to subtract from the selection. You can see when I activate the mask mode, here are a unselected and extra selected areas. When using mask mode, specify an overlay opacity between 1% to 100%. When using the mask mode, click the overlay color swatch and select a color in the color picker to set the mask color. This is a useful when the mask color overlay color is a too similar to the colors in the photo. Make sure your foreground and background color should be black and white. If background or foreground is in color, use D key to convert them black and white. When I paint with the black foreground area, is a selecting more. You can see it was a over select. So use the X key to toggle black to white foreground. When you paint over the access selection with the white brush, extra selection will be removed. Now you can cut the selection and use new selection into new layer. I showed you very basic selection with the simple objects. We have to use the same tools in your images where selection is not easy like this. You have to select which tool is the best for the required subject. So I am opening a new image of a woman where I am using quick selection tool with a quick mask option. I am not going in the details just giving you an idea how to use in a complex subject. You can also watch my other masking tutorials how I selected the area. I am adding the card above and inserting the link in the comment section. After selection, I activated the quick mask with the Q key. You can see the selection was turned into the red color. The selecting the brush, adjusting the size and painting with the white foreground and refining the selection. Recap created rectangular with the rectangular marquee, then creating circle with the epileptical marquee, then creating a triangles and circles with the lasso tools, magic wand and quick selections. That's all for the today. Soon I will come with the new tutorials for the advanced and beginners. Thanks for watching.